The first international exposition of electricity in Paris ran from August 15, 1881 through to November 15, 1881 at the Palais de l'Industrie on the Champs-Élysées. It served to display the advances in electrical technology since the small electrical display at the 1878 Universal Exposition. Exhibitors came from the United Kingdom, United States, Germany, Italy and the Netherlands, as well as from France. As part of the exhibition, the first International Congress of Electricians presented numerous scientific and technical papers, including definitions of the standard practical units volt, ohm and ampere. Topic. History Adolphe Cochery, Minister of Posts and Telegraphs of the time, had initially suggested that an international exposition should be held. This show was a great stir. The public could admire the dynamo of Cianobi Graham, the incandescent light, the theatrophone, the electric tramway of Werner von Siemens, the telephone of Alexander Graham Bell, an electrical distribution network by Marcel Desprez, and an electric boat by Gustave Trouvet. As part of the exhibition, the first International Congress of Electricians, which met in the halls of the Palais du Trocadero, presented numerous scientific and technical papers, including definitions of the standard practical units volt, ohm and ampere, the international system of electrical and magnetic units. The exposition boasted a gallery of paintings illuminated by incandescent lamps, an engraving of which appeared in La Lumière électrique 4, 1881. Cordulic 149, George Berger was the Commissioner General. Aside from the provision of the building by the French government, the exhibition was privately financed. Organizers would donate profits to scientific works in the public interest. Topic. International Congress of Electricians This Congress was a decisive step in the building of the modern international system of units SI, since ohm, ampere, coulomb and farad were defined at this occasion. Main participants include Eleuther Maskert, William Thomson, who later became Lord Kelvin, Hermann von Helmholtz, Rudolf Clausius, Gustav Kirchhoff, Gustav Heinrich Wiedemann, Carl Wilhelm Siemens, and his brother, the industrialist Werner von Siemens, who had to renounce to the Siemens Mercury as the resistance unit, not to be confused with Siemens, current SI unit of conductance. Topic. Exhibits Among the exhibits were Apparatus for production and transmission of electricity Natural and artificial magnets, and compasses Devices used in the study of electricity Many applications of electricity sound, heat, light, electroplating, electrochemistry, signage, power, industrial applications, agricultural and domestic Lightning Old instruments in connection with electricity, electric lighting with incandescent lamps was one of key developments on display at the exposition, with up to 2,500 lamps used to light the venue. The lamps of Thomas Edison, St. George Lane Fox, Hiram Maxim, and Joseph Swan were compared in extensive tests by a committee, including exposition juror William Crookes, to establish the most efficient lamp design. The conclusion was the high-resistance Edison lamp was the most efficient, followed by the Lane Fox, Swan, and Maxim lamps. Edison's agents had lobbied to obtain jurors and to set test conditions favorable to his lamp. 